We all grew up learning one simple rule, nothing in the universe can travel faster than light. Light is the cosmic speed limit, about 300,000 kilometers per second. In theory, that means no starship, no signal, no particle can ever break that barrier. But here's the paradox, the universe itself is expanding faster than light. Galaxies are literally racing away from us at superluminal speeds, and scientists are perfectly fine with it. So how can both things be true? How can light be the ultimate limit, while space itself seems to leave light in the dust? To answer this, we need to look at what speed really means, what Einstein actually proved, and how the fabric of spacetime can bend the rules without technically breaking them. The Cosmic Speed Limit First, let's be clear, when physicists say light is the fastest thing in the universe, they mean nothing can move through space faster than light. Imagine the universe like a giant highway. Cars on the road, representing particles, rockets, photons, can't go faster than the posted speed limit. That's the law. But what happens if the road itself starts stretching? If the highway expands underneath the cars, carrying them away from each other, then suddenly two cars at opposite ends can separate faster than any of them are driving. That's the trick the universe plays. The galaxies aren't breaking the speed of light. They're being carried apart because the space between them is stretching. What the expansion really means. When astronomers say the universe is expanding, they don't mean galaxies are flying through space like debris from an explosion. Instead, the space between galaxies is stretching. Think of raisins in bread dough. As the dough rises, the raisins move apart. The raisins aren't moving on their own, the dough itself is expanding. This means galaxies aren't speeding through the universe, they're essentially at rest in their own region of space, but the distance between them grows as the fabric of space-time stretches. So when we say some galaxies are receding faster than light, it doesn't mean they're breaking the rules. It means the dough is rising so fast that raisins on opposite ends are separating faster than light could travel. Hubble's surprising discovery back in the 1920s, astronomer Edwin Hubble noticed something strange. Galaxies weren't just sitting still, they were moving away from us. And the farther away they were, the faster they receded. This became known as Hubble's law, velocity equals distance times a constant. In other words, double the distance, double the speed of recession. Extrapolate this far enough, and you find galaxies so distant that they recede faster than light. This discovery shook physics. It suggested the universe itself was stretching, not static. And it opened the door to one of the strangest truths, expansion can outrun light. Einstein's relativity and the loophole Einstein's theory of relativity sets the speed of light as the maximum speed for objects moving through space. But Einstein's equations also describe space itself as a dynamic fabric, flexible, stretchable, bendable. The speed limit applies inside space, not to the expansion of space itself. That's the loophole. Imagine painting dots on a balloon and blowing it up. The dots move apart, but none of them are actually racing across the balloon's surface faster than the limit. The balloon's surface is expanding. So relativity holds, and yet galaxies billions of light years away can still recede faster than light. It's not motion, it's expansion. The cosmic horizon here's where it gets stranger. If galaxies are receding from us faster than light, doesn't that mean their light should never reach us? Yes, and that's why we have a cosmic horizon. There's a limit to how far we can see, because beyond a certain distance, the expansion of space is carrying galaxies away faster than their light can travel toward us. This doesn't mean those galaxies vanish, they're still out there. But they're forever beyond our view, locked outside our observable universe. So the night sky isn't just a window to infinity. It's a shrinking bubble, with more and more galaxies slipping beyond our sight as expansion accelerates dark energy and the runaway universe. In the late 1990s, scientists discovered something shocking, not only is the universe expanding, but the expansion is accelerating. Some mysterious force, dubbed dark energy, is pushing space apart faster and faster. This means galaxies far away aren't just receding faster than light, they're accelerating away from us. And eventually, if dark energy keeps dominating, even nearby galaxies outside our local group could slip beyond our cosmic horizon. Billions of years from now, a distant observer might look at the sky and see nothing but darkness, unaware that the universe was ever filled with galaxies. Inflation, faster than light from the beginning if this sounds extreme, consider the very beginning of the universe. During the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe underwent cosmic inflation, an exponential expansion that blew up space itself faster than light by unimaginable factors. 
Without inflation, the universe we see today, smooth, uniform, and vast, wouldn't make sense. Inflation explains why distant regions of the cosmos look so similar, even though they're too far apart to have ever exchanged light or heat. So not only does expansion outrun light today, it did so in the most dramatic way possible at the dawn of time. A universe without edges people often ask, if the universe is expanding, what is it expanding into? The answer is, nothing. Space itself doesn't need a container. When galaxies recede, it's not because they're rushing into some external void, it's because the internal fabric stretches. Think again of the balloon analogy. The surface itself is all there is. As it expands, the dots move apart, but there's no need for extra space outside the balloon for them to move into. Expansion happens internally. And since the expansion of the balloon's surface isn't bound by any internal speed limit, galaxies on opposite ends can separate faster than light. The misconception about breaking physics here's the key takeaway, nothing in physics is being broken. Light is still the maximum speed for motion through space. That law is intact. But space itself is allowed to stretch as fast as it wants. Think of it like this, light is a runner, and space is the treadmill. No matter how fast the runner goes, if the treadmill speeds up faster, the runner can't keep up. The galaxies receding faster than light aren't speeding through the treadmill. The treadmill itself is accelerating. Thought experiment, chasing the light. Imagine you're holding a flashlight, shining it at a galaxy 20 billion light years away. Normally, the light beam should travel and eventually reach it. But if the space between you and that galaxy is expanding faster than the speed of light, your photons can never catch up. The distance grows faster than the light can cross it. This is why some regions of the universe are forever unreachable, no matter how advanced our technology becomes. Expansion itself outruns any signal. What this means for us so what does it mean that the universe can expand faster than light? It means the cosmos is bigger, stranger, and more unreachable than we ever imagined. There are galaxies we will never see, no matter how powerful our telescopes. There are regions of the universe forever disconnected from ours. And the deeper we look into the void, the more we realize the horizon of our knowledge isn't fixed, it's moving. The paradox teaches us humility. We live inside a bubble of light, surrounded by an infinite ocean that forever escapes us. Light remains the fastest traveler in the universe. But the expansion of space isn't a traveler, it's the stage itself. And that stage can stretch at any rate, pulling galaxies apart faster than any photon can race. It's not that physics is broken. It's that physics is more subtle than we once believed. Motion and expansion are not the same. And when we confuse them, we miss the strange, beautiful truth. So next time you look at the night sky, remember this, the stars you see are only a fraction of what exists. Beyond them lies a universe rushing away, faster than light, beyond forever. And yet, somehow, in this fleeting bubble of visibility, we get to exist, to see, to wonder. Maybe that's the greatest gift of all, that even in a universe racing away from us, curiosity lets us chase it, thought by thought, question by question.